Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I know what you are thinking, it has been a very, very long time since I have uploaded a video on my channel, but I am back and I am back with a bang. I've got loads more video ideas to bring to you. I've got a snazzy new camera, a snazzy new microphone. We are starting with a bang because today we will be ranking the Leeds United Premier League players for the 2020-2021 season. But before we get into that, make sure you have clicked that subscribe button down below, you leave a like on this video, and now let's get into it. Let's go! So we will be rating the players that have made a Premier League appearance in the season. So I'm not including players that have played in either the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup. It is purely the Premier League players. We've got the five sections on the left, so we've got Player of the Season, which is the P.O.T.S. World Class, so players that have had an incredible season. Decent Season, speaks for itself, meh. Players that, you know, fine. Sword in the Summer, players who I think we can quite easily get rid of in the summer. Now, this is my opinion, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Everyone can let me know if they think I'm right, wrong, where they'd put players. But we're going to get into it and we're going to start with the goalkeepers. So first up, we've got Kiko Kasia made two appearances in the Premier League and kept one clean sheet. Never rated Kiko Kassia. I don't like how when the ball comes to him, he tries to do like tricks or he, he just don't clear it. He's a good shot stopper, is Kiko, but I just, I don't rate him and I genuinely think we're going to get rid of him in the summer. He'll probably go back to Spain. It's a uh, sword in the summer, I'm afraid, for Kiko. Next up is Meslier. He's had 35 appearances and kept 11 clean sheets. Some of the saves that Meslier has produced this season have just been absolutely sublime. He's single-handedly sometimes won his games, he's kept us in the games. I think his confidence has just grown throughout the season. I think he's getting better and better. And the fact he's only 21, he might even be younger than that, I might even be wrong with that. I just think he's been absolutely superb. I don't think he's player of the season, but for me, Meslier goes in world class. I just think he's been superb. Moving on to the defenders. All right, and we've got one of my favourite players. We've got Luke Erlin at right back. He's made, he's played every game so far this season and he's helped keep 11 clean sheets. I feel sorry for Erlin because the goal he scored should have stood if it wasn't for VAR. He's been solid at right back. I don't think it's been a... Uh, a world-class season. I think there's been games where he's struggled a, a bit or he's been to blame for a mistake. Therefore, I'm probably going to whack Ailing in decent season. He's not been naff, he's not been rubbish, but he's not been up there with like world-class and definitely not player of the season. So for me, Ailing goes in decent season. Next up, Champions League Captain Cooper, or as other people might like to say, Conference Cooper. Cooper's made 24 appearances and he's actually scored a goal and he's kept six clean sheets. I like Liam Cooper. I think he's probably one of the only centre-backs that actually pings the ball out from the back. Yes, he's a bit injury-prone. Yes, he's struggled a bit. But for me, personally, really don't mind Cooper. In terms of the season he's had, though, I'm probably going to go... Meh, just because I think Cooper can do better. And I, I do think with the likes of Pascal and Lorente having the seasons they've had, Cooper's under a bit of pressure, really. But for me and for this season, Cooper is going to go in meh. I'm not going to say his surname because I always try and pronounce it wrong. I think it's Strauk. Pascal Strauk? Strike? Strauk? Strauk. It's Pascal. Pascal scored the goal against Arsenal and has helped keep seven clean sheets. For me, I think he has been an incredible defender for us. We obviously lost Ben White. We brought in both Lorente and Cork. But he, for me, has probably been defender of the season. Each game, he grows in confidence. Some of his performances have just been superb. What hasn't helped Pascal is when Phillips is out injured and we've tried to put him in that position. I don't think it works for him. I don't think it works for Cock either. I don't think we've got that player. Well, actually, I do think we've got that player, but he's been out on loan. 
in Alfie McCormick. But in terms of Pascal at centre back, I think, especially alongside Lorente, he's been superb. So I am going to stick Pascal in world class. He's not player of the season, but he has had a very, very good season. Next up, we've got Robin Cock, who's made 17 appearances, hasn't scored for us, and only kept four clean sheets. At the very start of the season, I thought he was great. I thought, who needs Ben White? We've got Robin Cock. Some of the performances he was pr producing were fantastic. Then he obviously got his injury, and I think he struggled to get back in the team, purely because of how well the likes of Lorente, Pascal, and sometimes even Cooper have been done. I know it's his first season and I do feel like he's got a lot more to give but honestly if I'm being really honest for me it's uh, it's a toss up between decent season and meh. I'm going to put him in meh but I might change it and I'm going to put him like ahead of Cooper for meh because no I won't him there. There you go. Because I think Cock has had a better season than Cooper or do I? Oh this is tough you know. But yeah, I think he's got a lot more to come as cock. Next up is Lorente. Like many other fans, when Lorente first came into this team, I think it was against Chelsea, I was like, oh, head in hands, who is this player? Like, I really despise him. I think he's dreadful. But then, game after game after game, he's getting better and better. He's scored for us. He's made 15 appearances, kept four clean sheets. The partnership he's got with Pascal seems to be working, although we stuck him alongside Cooper against Southampton the other night, and again, I thought he was class. I don't think he's been world class. I really don't. I think he can get there, but he has had a very decent season to say it's his first season with Leeds. I'm going to stick Lorente in decent season. Next up is very good Davies! Uh, Leif Davis at left back surprisingly has made two appearances for Leeds in the Premier League. Neither of them have been memorable. I I was surprised. I, I do like Davis, but I know he's played a lot for the under uh, 23s. I mean, it, we're not going to sell him because he's young and he could be a future left back for the cl for the club. But Davis is a meh. Next up is Berardi. I love Berardi. I love Berardi. He's he plays with his heart on his sleeve. He joined back in 2014. He was injured but didn't want to be associated with the sick note six. We gave him that extra year because he helped us obviously get up. As sad as it was when the news came out that both him and Pablo were leaving the summer, deep down we all expected it. I couldn't find a current photo for Berardi on the Premier League website. I am obviously going to stick him in sword in the summer because he's only made the one appearance. I do think he's going to play against West Brom as well. Without the news of him leaving in the summer, I still would have stuck Berardi in sword in the summer anyway. What a legend. What a legend for the club. Next up is our Macedonian friend, Gianni, Gianni Alioski, our Macedonian friend. Alioski's made 35 appearances and has scored two goals and has three assists. He also has about 38,000 offsides. <laughs> Alioski is difficult because... If I'd have done this video, let's say, five or six weeks ago, Alioski would have been in Sold in the Summer. Recently, though, he has put in some decent games. Leeds definitely need an out and out left back in the summer. Hopefully we get Tagliafico because, for me, that would just be the, the perfect signing. Argentinian, Pacey up and down that left hand side. Overall season, though, for Alioski, regardless of the last, like, six, seven, eight games, I would probably just keep him as like a reserve and on like a bench player. Alioski overall for the season has been meh. I don't think he's a sold in the summer. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, nah, get rid, he's gone. No, I think he's just done all right with the last games that he's produced. So I'm going to stick him in meh. Next up is Stewie Dallas. He's played every game this season, whether it's at right back, left back, centre mid, centre defensive mid. You can stick him up top if you really wanted to. Stuart Dallas is player of the season. Simple as that. He is player of the season. He scored eight goals, he's got two assists. The lad don't stop running. There's maybe like two other people you could put in player of the season for me. There's, there's just no denying. Like, Stuart Dallas is Leeds United's player of the season for the 2020-2021 Premier League season. First back in there. 
I, I just love him. I think he's I think he's class. Pablo Hernandez. Pablo's made 15 appearances, and I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a lot less than that. He hasn't scored any goals, but that magic foot of his has created two assists. Again, like Berardi, regardless of the fact that the news has come out that he is leaving at the end of the season. Overall, like, I would have got rid of him anyway, and it sounds harsh, but it was purely on his age. I do still think Pablo can do well in the Premier League and help a team out. Part of me thinks if Swansea do manage to come up and win the playoffs, he might even go back there. Yeah, Pablo, regardless of the news that you were leaving in the summer, like, for me, it would have been sold in the summer anyway. Next up is... England international, all-round class player Calvin Phillips. Calvin isn't player of the season because of how well Dallas has done. Simple as that. Injuries haven't helped Calvin this year, but you can't deny that we need Calvin Phillips to be playing week in, week out. We haven't got cover for Phillips in that position if he's not playing. He's not that box-to-box -box midfielder anymore. He is that central defensive midfielder, that number four that can go into a back three or can help the defence out. He's been class and I can't not put him in world class like he's just had a wicked season. This is going to be controversial the next one. So next up is Click, who's played in 35 games, scored four goals and has five assists. I think you guys would put Click in decent season, but for me, I think Click has at times looked absolutely knackered. I can't blame it because obviously like he played every game last season to help us get there. He's played the majority of the games this season with the likes of obviously Rodrigo being injured. You know, Roberts didn't establish that position at the start of the season. But at times, I just feel that Click didn't look like he was there. Just looked absolutely shattered. And for that, I am putting Click in meh. But I'm going to stick him like at the high end of meh, like he's on the cusp of decent season, overworked and he needs a bit of a rest and what's not going to help is he's up the Euros with Poland, <laughs> so he's probably going to come back even more knackered, but yeah, that's it's just my opinion, clicking meh. Uh, up next is Baby Shaq, Jamie Shackleton, who has made 13 appearances, no goals or assists for, but Shaq is obviously a player of the future, isn't he? Uh, young lad, can play it right back, can play in the midfield. I like Shaq. I think he will eventually be a decent player for Leeds. Shaq's one of them that might do well from going out on loan to a, a lower league club in, in the championship. Like, say someone like Sheffield United or West Brom that have just gone down, Shaq might do well for having a season with them. I hope that doesn't happen because I want him to stay with us. But in terms of the overall season, Shaq is... A meh. We'll stick Shaq there. I'm going to probably move some of these around at the end anyway. Just in terms of like who's the lowest meh and who's better out of them all. But you know we'll move them around at the end. Anyway once I've put them all in their positions. Up next is Jack Harrison who has played in 35 games. I think the only games he's missed are the games against Man City because obviously he's on loan from them. He scored 8 goals and has 8 assists. I really like Harrison. I've always liked Harrison. I'm surprised we didn't try and make the move perm this time around but I'm right in thinking that we've got a, a clause or we can make it perm at the end of this season for I think it's about 11 might be 15 mil forgive me if I'm wrong there I would snap Harrison up like no tomorrow I think he's been superb if he pushes on he could be on the cusp of England I know that's a very very risky comment to make but when you think of players that will potentially be in the Euro squad. Harrison's not that too far behind him. Overall, I think he's had a superb season. I think the very first game against Liverpool, he had Trent Alexander-Arnold in his pocket. World class, probably yes, just about, but the lower end of it. So we're going to stick Harrison there. Next up, we've got Paveda, who has appeared in 14 games for Leeds this season. I feel a bit sorry for Pov, if I'm being honest, because Fina, that's just Rafinha, like, insanely good with the ball on his feet, skillful, quick. Harrison on the other side. Costa seems to be getting in before Paveda, and I'd have it the other way around, because I feel like Paveda brings more to the squad and the game than Costa does, but more about that when I get on to Costa. Overall, for the season, I think, again, Paveda is a bit of a, a meh. Oh, next up is Patrick Bloody Bamford. If you honestly thought Bamford was going to score 16 goals in the first season in the Premier League, then 
because I, I I didn't. I really didn't. And I think a lot of fans didn't, hence why Rodrigo was brought in. But some of the play Bamford's done, it, not even with the goals, like his hold-up play to bring other people in, his work rate, even like the interviews he does after games, he's been so modest. I just think he's been incredible for the club this season, I really do. Unfortunately, not player of the season. Like For me, that goes to Dallas, but he's definitely in that world class. Okay, up next we have got Tyler Roberts, who has appeared in 26 games for the club this season. Has one goal, obviously the other night against Southampton, and two assists. I think Tyler Roberts has had a decent season. <laughs> I don't think I would have said that at all at the start of the season, because I was... If you'd have asked me this in January, I was selling Tyler Roberts, and I think there was that link to Bournemouth with him. But since then, he's come in for click, and he's taken that chance, grabbed it, and just gone with it. Like, I think he shone when Click wasn't getting a look in when Rodrigo was injured. And I do genuinely believe that Tyler Roberts has had a decent season. For me, he's going in decent season. Next up is Rodrigo, who has appeared in 25 games and scored six goals and has two assists. <sighs> I mean, the fact I've just made that noise probably says where I'm putting Rodrigo, but I do think there's a lot more to come. I think if he can get fitter and establish that position behind Bamford, because he's not going to get a look in at the minute. Like, Bamford is that striker, which... I didn't think I was going to say, but he is. I do think next season Rodrigo will be good for all the club. He is in meh for this season, for me, but I do think he will be better. He's not the worst in meh, though, but we'll change those when we get to the end. Oh! Oh! Right. Next is Rafinha, who has appeared in 29 games, 6 goals, 8... Uh, yeah. Eight assists. Probably the most skillful player at the club at the minute. I just He's just brilliant to watch. He's brought a flair to the club. Like, you can see how desperately he wants to be on the ball. He's almost, like, raised the level, I guess. And if Leeds can bring one or two more players on that same level, my God, we genuinely could be pushing for Europa, even Champions League next season, if Bielsa is at the helm. He's been absolutely class, like... World class for us. Next is Helda Costa. Uh, 22 appearances, 3 goals, 3 assists. I don't like Helda Costa, I'm sorry. I don't see what he brings to the club at all. I think if a club comes in for him, for a decent wage... A uh, decent wage? What do I want to say? If we get a decent bid, that's what I want to say, for Costa... I'd take, it, I'd take it in a heartbeat because I think we can get better wing, and I think we've been linked with better wingers as well. And like I said, I don't see how he's getting in ahead of Paveda at the minute. For me, I'm sorry, but Costa has to be sold in the summer. Sorry. Last but not least, we've got Niall Huggins. Huggins, Higgins, Huggins. I've written Huggins, so I hope that is right. Didn't even remember this kid's name though. Apparently he made one appearance for us, which was a substitute appearance. I mean, I don't think you'll be sold in the summer because I think you're obviously one for the future, but you've only made one appearance. I didn't know anything about it, so you're in meh. Right then. So, the question now, now that I've put all of the players in the relevant categories, do I think that is where they should be in terms of like highest to lowest? So, if they're here, then they're obviously like close to going up to player of the season and clo like close to going up to world class, close to going up to decent, so right, okay. Dallas is player of the season, yep. World class, who was probably next? I mean, Bamford. Just purely for the goals, the fact he nearly got that England call up. Meslier, Strauch, Phillips, Harrison, Rafinha. <laughs> Phillips, third. Meslier. Rafinha. Yeah, I think that's right. So, yep. Want to... Right, decent season. Yes, close to world class. Yes, yes, that's probably right. Close to decent season. Yes. Uh, no, I don't. I think I want to put you there. I want to swap that about. Uh, meh. Rodrigo's not meh. Rodrigo's probably 
Rodrigo's probably there. Uh, Alioski's probably there. Uh, then Pov, then Shaq, then very good Davis and Huggins. Uh, wish he was staying the most. Uh, then that. Then yeah, that's it. That's it. That's my rating. That is my rating. So I've got Dallas at the top, Bamford not too far behind, Phillips, Meslier, Strauch, Rafinha, Harrison, Aileen, Lorente, Roberts, Click, Rodrigo, Cooper, Cock, Alioski, Paveda, Shaq, Davis, Huggins, Berardi, Pablo, Casilla, Costa. That is how I've rated the Leeds United squad for the 2020-2021 season. I hope you liked that video. If you do, like I say, please, please click subscribe. Uh, smash the like button. Let me know in the comments whether you agree with my ratings or not. Uh, other than that, I will be back next week because I've got so many video ideas to do. And until then, uh, yeah, have a good week and uh, laters.